Hey, what's going on, all my gamers and game mats? It's the one they call Top Diggity Dog, and being that PlayStation's conference at Paris Games Week 2015 is finally wrapped up. I want to go ahead and tell you some of the key things that really stood out to me about this conference, because it was a lot of great things that was announced at PlayStation uh, conference at, at Paris Games Week. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm not trying to keep this video long. I always try to, I always tend to ramble, ramble on. So I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. But the first game we need to talk about, we must talk about is Horizon Zero Down. Horizon Zero Down was a game that got a lot of applause at E3 um, because this game it featured, come on, it featured a cave woman taking down a robotic dinosaur. <laughs> That's enough to give you, take my money here, take my money. You know, so uh, they showed off an eight-minute walkthrough of this game. Yes, eight minutes. And the game just looked, still looked beautiful. They, um, he kind of talked about more of the HUD element. It's going to have a compass. The world is huge. You can, you can explore all the world that you see around you. Um, the, 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 the wildlife, because it's going to be robotic wildlife, everything looks like it's like in the past, but it's the future. You know what I'm saying? We're in the past, like we're in the caveman days, but we're dealing with future stuff, like robotic dinosaurs. But it just, the game just looked breathtaking, and it seemed like they put so much thought into these, these robotic uh, animals and stuff, because within the, the boss-like dinosaur character himself, they said the thing have over 18 attacks. I'm like, 18 attacks? Are you serious? 18 attacks? Come on now. That's a lot of attacks for something. You know, and um, it just looks like a big title. It looked like something that is going to live up to the hype. But, you know, we still got, uh, you know, a lot more steps, a lot more gameplay to watch, a lot more features they got to announce and all like that for us to really, you know, before the game come out or anything like that. We don't even have a release date yet. But, nevertheless, the game is still gorgeous. It still looks like it's going to live up to the hype. Speaking of hype, PlayStation then proceeded to drop the ultimate bomb, which is showing us Gran Turismo Sport. Yes, that's right. I said it. If you're a race car fanatic, you definitely know Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is a game that exceeds Forza by so much. Now, Forza has come a long way, but it's still not yet there to match up with Gran Turismo. And being that a lot of people love car games and everything, and Drive Club for PlayStation owners is okay, you know, but it's still that arcadic type racer. It's not a real simulator. And, you know, Xbox got Forza, but everybody on PlayStation has been waiting for our Forza, our Gran Turismo to take the stage and reclaim its throne. So this announcement is a huge deal for us racing simulator uh, fanatics. You know, so let's talk about the trailer. The trailer was gar gorgeous. Straight up drop dead gorgeous is what we expect. Great graphics. They showed interior of the cars. It looks so, man, it looks like you can reach out, touch it. It looks like you can go on the side of the car because it just looks so glossy. It looks so good. Clean cut. The only thing that got uh, a somewhat of a negative but it's not a negative but but somewhat, I guess you can call it, is that uh, they have announced that it's going to be some championship runs you can make for the cup and, and all like that in this game. It's not going to be that many, but they're going to keep updating them within the year. But uh, it's sounding like it's just not the full game, you know what I'm saying? And for you guys that... Got Grand Theft Auto, I mean, got Grand Theft Auto, got Grand Turismo, played Prologue. That's what I'm going to tell y'all. That's what this is. That's what it is. I believe that's exactly what they're doing right here. It's nothing but a Prologue, and we will eventually get Grand Turismo 7, because this is not Grand Turismo 7, my guys. It's not Grand Turismo 7. This is the Prologue, because if you think about Prologue, that's exactly what you was doing in Prologue. It wasn't a full game. You was just going out. You was competing in some of the uh, championship races, and blah, that was pretty much it. But in this game, you're going to be doing that as well. But Moving on in the actual game, which is going to be Gran Turismo 7, I'm sure it's going to be more variety to do, more game modes to do, more to do with your cars, more, a lot of, a lot of things. This is just our taste of Gran Turismo, what is expected, what is to come for Gran Turismo um, on the PlayStation 4. Another thing I want to say about Gran Turismo is they also announced that it is VR ready. 
That's right. All my PlayStation owners, it is VR ready. So if you, once the, the virtual reality headset come out 2016, because that's when it comes out, you can go grab that. And if you have Gran Turismo Sport, you can slap those on and actually be in your car, be in the cockpit, be able to look at the interior, be able to look left out the left window, look at look at, look outside the passenger window. Look, it's it's gonna be gorgeous, you know. And I'm glad that they're starting to make a lot of these games, these big titles, VR ready because that's what they're gonna need. We're not gonna need just some of these little lazy games and that comes with the VR. We we're gonna need a lot of these big huge titles that is first person with some some VR behind it. That makes it that that sells the product and plus it makes us, you know, just say, hey, we're in the game, which is what we as gamers love. And I think that's what the future is pushing for us as gamers. So this is great. A lot of great news that came from this press conference, guys. A lot of great news. But guys, those was the top things that stuck out to me about this conference. Make sure to look in the description below. It's gonna be some video links. Go click them, check them out, and make sure to come back comment below and let me know what y'all think about those video clips but it's the one they call top diggity dog if you haven't subscribed what are you doing stop slacking because i'm gonna be here for all your gaming needs it's the one they call top diggity dog i'm out deuces